Hey guys, Taki here. We have a very interesting video today on what I think is the most unique handheld that I've ever seen. If I see something that is dumb and cheap, I'm probably going to buy it. And when I found out that McDonald's created a handheld in the shape of a chicken nugget, my wallet stood no chance. The idea was so dumb and so cheap that I bought another one that I will be giving away to one lucky person watching this video. More on that later, and you're gonna wanna stay tuned to the end because the ending has a big surprise. So because this thing is so strange, it probably requires a brief introduction. In an effort to celebrate the anniversary of the chicken nugget, for some reason, McDonald's in China decided to create this chicken nugget handheld. Now we're gonna do some on the fly translations here, but on the front of this case, this says Russian block gaming handheld, and this is just the Chinese name for Tetris, which is the only game that this version can run, but it's not the only one that you'll see in this video. We'll talk more about that in just a bit. We're gonna do an unboxing experience in just a bit, but let's just go over the side. We can see that it says Tetris right here. It says go with a block logo over here, and the same thing on the other side. And then on the last side, we have the McDonald's logo. On the back of this, we don't really have a lot of useful information. We have the model number for this, the dimensions, the ages that this is meant for, where it was produced, which is pretty close to where I live, and then some manufacturing standards that they followed. This big text box over here is just a warning for this product. Let's now open this thing up. So we're going to lift up this flap here. And, <laughs> and then we have this, <laughs> and then we have this stupid thing. I'm gonna set this box aside just because I want to collect the one that I'm going to keep. So inside the box, we have this plastic wrapper with the chicken nugget handheld in all of its glory. And we have some other things. We're gonna have to open this up to get a better look. Once we've got that open up, we can get the chicken nugget handheld. I'm gonna set that off to the side. And then we've got a couple other things that we'll just go over briefly. This first paper is just a bunch of stickers that you can take off and then put on the device. You'll see what that looks like later on in this video. I'm gonna keep this as it is right now because this is going to be a toy for my kid. So I'm just gonna save this. This paper here just goes over how to use the device. It has English translation under all of the buttons, so there's no need for me to translate it now. Tetris is a pretty simple game, so a lot of this stuff is pretty self-explanatory. There's nothing useful on the inside or on the back. Let's now talk about the specs of this handheld. And that's all we got. All right, let's quickly just go over the overview of this. Okay, so this is obviously a giant chicken nugget. I've never seen a chicken nugget this big, but it's in the shape of a chicken nugget. And they even went as far as to make the texture kind of resemble a chicken nugget. On the left side, you have the control keys. These will change the position of the blocks. And then these seem to do the exact same thing, but this one goes faster. This circular button here can rotate for some reason, but this is the button that you'll use to rotate the blocks. I will point out that all of these buttons use conductive rubber. <laughs> and surprisingly, <laughs> And surprisingly, the conductive rubber doesn't feel like garbage. This makes no sense for a product that's this cheap. We also have a power button here, a pause button, but I think this is also like the start button for a game and a button to mute the volume. On the back of the device, you'll see that we have a battery compartment and this came with batteries for the price that I paid. They are user replaceable batteries, which is pretty cool to see on something like this. On off switch here on the side, and you'll see the cutout for the speaker that they have here. I'm not expecting the sound quality to be that good on something that's this cheap. And that's about it. So let's flip that switch and take this thing for a spin. I don't know how well that's coming across. I'm going to put this up to the microphone so you can get a better idea of what this sounds like. Not the best sounding speakers, but probably the best on a chicken nugget handheld. Let's keep going here. Let's press the pause button and that starts the game for us. I don't rem <laughs> I don't remember Tetris playing like this. <laughs> what the <laughs> How did <laughs> How did the floor block Wait, I wonder if this is I wonder if it actually is taking up that space. What why, why are my Tetris blocks turning into missing no? I, I have... <laughs> I have no idea what the hell is going on. What? What is this? Alright, I... I 
I'm used to jank in handhelds. Like I've seen my fair share of jank. This is like, <laughs> this does not pass the smell check at all. I, I think maybe my batteries are low. I'm going to open this up and let's see if we can just swap out the batteries and see if the game will run the right way. I've had this thing for about a week now and I was just like waiting for this video to use it. So I, I don't know if it's supposed to play like this, but I don't think that it is or I, I would have heard it. Uh, let's take these out and put some different ones in. All right, round two. All right, let's see if we can get it to bug out again. I, what the heck is going on? <laughs> Could it just be like this one is broken? That doesn't make sense. I don't really care if it doesn't work because it's just kind of like for the novelty of the entire thing. But this is like really weird that it doesn't work because I think it's supposed to work. Well, it's a good thing that I have more than one. So let's see if this is a problem on the second unit that I have. Okay, here we are with my second unit. I wasn't planning on opening this up. This was just going to be on my shelf, but I do have a third one for the giveaway, so it doesn't really matter. Let's start the game and see if we have that same problem. All right, this one seems to be like perfectly fine, so I have no idea what's going on with, <laughs> with this janky mess over here. Let me see if I can get it to bug out. No, it seems like perfectly fine. So I have no idea what's going on with this one. Let me reset. I think you can do level select. So let's see what the highest level looks like on this. Okay, it goes up to level 15. So this is the last level. What? What? <laughs> what the? Oh my God. Wait, it goes all the way down and then you have time to move it. I don't think Tetris is supposed to work like this. So that's the Tetris handheld. I want to open this up, but before we do that, I want to just take the batteries out of this one and then put it in the original unit to see if that one has problems. I just want to rule out batteries as a reason for why this one doesn't work. All right, here we are back with the original unit. Let's just quickly check to see if this one is still busted. This is using the batteries from the second unit. So this should rule out batteries as a reason for why this doesn't work. No, it's still broken. So this this one just has this one just has like strange issues. Maybe this is like a collector's <laughs> maybe this is like a special collector's item on something that was already a collector's item. It and as you can see, like right here, it's taking up the extra spaces even though it shouldn't be able to. Well, no, actually it doesn't. It's like shifting everything over one square. It's not really occupying that space. Like right here, it will go down, then it will shift over. And it what the I don't even understand what's going on. If you know what's going on with this or if you have any ideas, like just leave it down in the comments below because this is super strange. And this is semi-serious, but if this video gets 10,000 likes, I will go to the company that made this device in search of answers. Let's just quickly do a teardown on the chicken nugget handheld. The thing isn't difficult to open up, but they did use these non-standard screws to put the thing together. Once we pop off the back, we can get a look at the inside. As you could imagine with a device that is this cheap, we have wires that are glued to the PCB, but it gets the job done. A few things that I wanna point out, this is the fifth revision. So I'd really like to see how jank the other four were. This thing was produced earlier this year at the end of February. So they're probably working on this at the tail end of last year. So here's the main board. And like I said, the conductive rubber that they used on this is actually pretty decent. It's surprisingly better than some gaming handhelds, which makes zero sense. Someone on their team must have a good eye for this because it doesn't make sense that they could do this good of a job on something that doesn't really need to be good. As for the PCB, the whole thing is kind of basic. You can see right here that they've covered whatever is running the entire ship. Now, correct me if I'm wrong in the comments, but my understanding is that even when companies do this, this doesn't stop anybody that really wants to know what's under there. But yeah, we have pins on the left and the right side, and those seem to drive the screen. No markings on this, but I just wanted to give you a better idea of what it looks like. We interrupt your chicken nugget handheld video to bring you this important message. Six months ago, I made a community post about a giveaway that I wanted to do on a Steam Deck skin that many people wanted to buy after they saw it in my videos. I was originally planning to buy like five of them to give away to fans in a random Steam Deck video, but I wanted to do more without breaking the bank. And thanks to the mad lads that paid for all of these, 
In exchange for this segment, you now have a very good chance of winning one of 100 skins, but you're gonna have to pay attention. This is the Binbok Play V1 cooling fan for the Steam Deck. The entire goal of this is to lower the temps on your Steam Deck by significantly increasing the airflow. It has a dial on the side that you can use to adjust the internal fan, and it also has a kickstand that you can use to prop your deck up on a table. The fan has a 2000 milliamp hour battery that they rate for 7 hours of continuous use, and they claim that this guy can cool your deck by 8 to 15 Celsius. To put this to the test, I downloaded the Fantastic plugin, and I set it to run at 100% fan speed, and then recorded the temperature reading that I got from playing Stray at 800p, all high settings. After 15 minutes, I got a reading of 82 Celsius. After attaching the Binbok fan for another 15 minutes, I got a reading of 77 Celsius, so even in an extreme case, this thing should improve temps by at least 5 Celsius. Most people aren't running their deck at 100% fan speed, so if we use the default fan curve, this fan drops temps by 9 to 10 Celsius. If you want to learn more, there's a non-affiliate link down in the description box below and you can use their current promotion with the coupon listed on screen for 30% off. Thank you Binbok for paying for all of these skins and good luck to everyone that wants to win one. So we've covered a lot of ground in this video about a handheld that was created to celebrate the anniversary of a fast food item. We saw a normal version of this and another that can't be beaten. But what if I told you there's a better version of this that plays more than just Tetris? I introduce to you the Super Chicken Nugget handheld. If you've been a fan of the channel for a while, you'll probably be familiar with the DIY creator named Lao Zhang. He created the ZPG handheld that I filmed in 2019, and he also made this beautiful beast. I feel like we need a reintroduction because this thing can do a lot more now. On top of being able to play a better version of Tetris, we now have the ability to play a lot more NES games. Our arrow keys become the D-pad, and the two buttons on the side act as B and A. Volume still works the same, but we have a better speaker, and if we press the power button, we can jump out to our ROM selection. The creator was able to achieve this by gutting a cheap Famiclone console, and then he modified the Chicken Nugget handheld to be able to fit it. This sends the novelty factor of this strange collectible handheld through the roof. Normally, I don't touch these cheap NES handhelds, but there's something strangely satisfying about playing them on a handheld that probably shouldn't exist, if we're being honest. I'm really glad that the creator was willing to let me borrow this for a few days so I could shoot this video. He makes a lot of one-off handhelds like this, and a lot of them are very impressive. I'll have a link to his Chinese channel down below if you want to check out more of his videos. As for the free chicken nugget handheld that I talked about in this video, all you need to do to win that is just be subscribed to the channel with your subscription status set to public and then just leave a comment that you would like a chance to get one. I'll be picking a winner on Sunday to ship one of these out for free and depending on how many people are interested, I might offer up more. Just make sure that your status is public if you want to win or I will not be able to see that you are a sub. As for the skins, shipping out 100 as a regular dude is a logistical nightmare, but I was able to find a third company that was willing to do me a favor and take care of that. If you win, you will have to pay a few dollars to get the skin shipped out, but the skin itself is free. Lastly, if you were a channel member of this channel before I made this video and you want a skin, one of these already has your name on it. I'll ship it out to you for free, just contact me on Discord with your information. Four of you guys have been a member for a year or more. You guys can get a box chicken nugget handheld for free if you want. I always intended to give away free stuff like this for members, and I will do more in the future. If you enjoyed this video and you want to see another, take a look at the video that I did on the $20 gaming handheld. Happy gaming everyone, Takiyao.